In this episode, you will see how electronic circuit boards are made. To start with, a conundrum. Is there a company that produces thousands of products all over the world, but its logo does not appear on any of them? The answer is yes. It is called Scanfill, and it is located in Shiraz. So, what does it specialize in? It manufactures customized PCBAs, i.e., high-tech printed circuit boards, which are applied in numerous industries. To get an up-close look at this, we head to Scanfill's production facility in Shiraz. It is a true kingdom of electronics. We are in the warehouse. Components that are especially sensitive to moisture are stored in special cabinets to which dehumidification systems are connected. There are 15 of them, and they operate like automatic lift racks. Inside there are 90,000 reels for surface mount technology, or SMT and 25,000 components for through-hole technology, or THT. Thanks to this solution, the selected component can be accessed in just 20 seconds. Before assembly begins, the codes specified by the customer, such as the number of the product or the order, are laser burned onto each circuit board. The operator places the components in the feeders in the correct position on the table. The screen printing machine starts work, applying solder paste to the circuit boards. The operator, following the instructions, selects the correct template, runs the appropriate program, and applies the paste. The machine presses the circuit board against the screen and spreads the paste by forcing it through the holes in the template. This creates on the board a pre-programmed pattern. The pick and place machine automatically picks up the components and its head checks them with a camera. If their image matches the pre-programmed pattern, the machine precisely places them on the paste that was previously applied by the screen printer. The correctness of these operations is supervised by an automatic optical inspection, or AOI machine. The machine scans the assembled circuit board and compares it with quality standards. It can detect defects such as insufficient solder paste, a missing component, or incorrect rotation. AOI is fully automatic. Once the circuit board has passed inspection, it undergoes the soldering process. The paste bonds the components to the surface after being heated in an oven. It then turns to tin and then cooled. And now, quality control again, this time concerning the correctness of the soldering. AOI identifies missing, twisted, or damaged components and faulty connections. Other THT components, such as resistors, capacitors, relays, or connectors, are placed in special feeders. Automated machines pick them up, put them through the holes in the board, and cut and bend the pins accordingly. The application of components to the circuit boards is also done manually. Workers place them in the positions displayed on the screens. Time for the next soldering. The circuit board is heated and the molten solder penetrates the holes and forms permanent connections. This is an automatic method that allows multiple through holes to be soldered at the same time. Then the board is cooled down and goes to quality control again. Here, in contrast, we see how soldering takes place using a robot equipped with a soldering head and tin feeder. It performs some of the operations that, until recently, were the job of a human. Now it is time on coating process. A circuit board, placed in a special fixture, travels inside the machine. A camera locates the board and activates a valve for selecting coating, small areas, and curtain coating, larger parts. The product then travels to the oven, where the lacquer is cured. The process is fully automatic. At this station, hot glue is applied to the components to stabilize them and protect them from vibration and mechanical damage. Again, the watchful eye of the AOI. The camera operates at high speed and can reliably detect even the smallest defects. The visible flying probe tester is fitted with movable arms, with measuring probes that physically touch test points on the board and thereby make it possible to detect potential assembly errors, e.g. short circuits or interrupts, and to check the value of components after surface mount, SMT, or through hole 
THT assembly. Ready. The products are packaged by the staff and shipped to the customer. One of the many who ScanFill has helped to realize their plans and dreams. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to see how medium voltage cables are made.